I remember going up to Arjun and the first thing I ever said to him was like, you know how to make, you know how to write a mean guitar riff. Then I met Charlie outside of a pub in Fallowfield, like he was in a, I don't know, he just got back off a ball breaker tour in Switzerland with his ACDC cover band. Then Liam was just chilling in the front room. I was in Switzerland and I was just pissing about in the bathroom and I got a text and it said, fancy being in Ben. And I texted the back saying, who's in it? And he said, Liam and me. And I said, yeah. <laughs> Well, I had another like a weekly blues night, and uh, Charlie was basically by a mile like the best guitarist to play that in. So we were kind of like silently jealous of him for a, for a while, and then just ended up chatting. Just he was the only one I just wanted really, so we got something together. <laughs> It's fairly, it's fairly self-evident, the sort of blues, blues stone and rock, but probably like um, Black Rose, Southern Rock basically, with a bit of grunge. Guns and Roses obviously, both, you know, me and Ards would sell our families to be able to be slashed, so. So you hear all this come out, so it is a big melting pot, and that's one of the best things about the band, is that it's, it's got just the potential to like go off in a direction sometimes that you don't necessarily expect but there is always this common denominator underneath of like you know we all there are a lot of bands that we do all like so that always comes out eventually. Uh, I, I write the tunes and then um, bring it to the guys and they'll put it in their individual input and it makes it into a completed song. I think Charlie is one of the best guitar players I've ever seen in my life he's just he can rip the head off anything, he's fucking brilliant. But like when it comes to writing songs, Arjun's got it there. Like everybody brings something to the band like that really plays a driving force in it. So Arjun will pretty much write stuff. He'll come up with most of the songs. I say most of it, like 98%. And then maybe if we come up with like a riff or something, then it just needs to be given to him and then he will record something. It just works. Better that way, you know. Me and Charlie have got a few little co writes in here and there, but we tend to overcomplicate things, and Arjun just keeps it nice and simple, so it's just worked out way better that way.
Uh, I don't know, they're all fucking things. <laughs> Last thing, probably. Just because it's got a good riff. That's my favourite thing about songs. A um, few gigs over the summer, we're going to be doing like a, a tour around the North Bingham. Hopefully, we've got a couple in Glasgow, just uh, like uh, Sheffield, York, Newcastle. And uh, we're recording like a kind of like this sort of stuff. It's off, like a sort of semi acoustic album. Um, we've recorded a four track mini album or whatever you want to call it, which is fully electric, which is very. Well, it's out there and it's really good and hard and loud. Like musically, I'm the happiest I've ever been. Like, I'm really happy being in this band. It's not just that, it's just everybody else. It's kind of like we're so close as in friends. It's like kind of like a big unit. And it's just, it's right for me because it's playing music I'm really into, whilst like everybody's like really cool with each other as well. Me personally, like, I love playing with the band, but it's, it's like one of those things where you, you always like, um, Again, you've always got one eye on the band and one eye on what you're doing like, in your personal life. So, like, And I know it's the same for everyone else. Like. Just the time when we started to play and hang out. And, uh, you know, we got a little party and then the party becomes secondary and you just get carried away playing. And it's not just one guy hugging a guitar. It's just like everybody's showing in and, and you don't piss anybody off. Like, it's one of them, like, it's like, I don't really care where I play. Like, as long as there's people there and they enjoy themselves, like that's all that matters. Like at the end of the day, if I enjoy myself in the crowd, enjoy himself, it don't matter if you could be playing in front of hundred thousand or maybe like fifteen. Like it's like as long as there's people there that enjoy it, that don't really matter. Um, the original bassist who wanted to call this porno right here, did not want that. And then my other mate texted me about some monkey thing, and I was like, I like monkeys. So then Gorilla Riot just came out in the studio, and I said, Is that okay? And they went, Ah, oh. that's it. <laughs>